there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these Ladies fighters are relatively gentlemen. close in age, this just a year apart, the and they both possess a similar height evening. and range. Here is the Bruce Buffett. Our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves as much as possible. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good jab. Set the pace, hit him first. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And that left hook landed on the button. Just misses there with the left. Nice loop of punch. Oh. Across the midpoint, round one. Unable to connect with the right. Liver kick. Big ball from West Now he gets back to range. 
Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. And he landed the right hand there. Right hand on point. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Nice punch man over the top. That was lightning fast at right end. Body kick. Tags him with the overhand. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands to the body there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Beautiful left hand count. Right punches there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Digging kick. The next with a right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 30 seconds to go in round two. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And that one certainly found the target. And the horn 
sounds on round two. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, what a punch. Superman punch! Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Just unable to quite find that range. Got clipped with a right hand. Hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught. Oh, oh, oh. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here, and for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, 
Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, no. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Strong thought of work here, staying busy. Lands with the left. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, he's got his back now. Seconds to go in this one. 20 seconds left. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement. And that's going to do it. Herb Dean steps in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, so how about that? Just before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see. What a result here tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him.